The key is not spending time, but investing it. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is investing time in doing the right things and not spending time trying to do as many things as you possibly can. This is part four in my series about being too busy and why it's detrimental for your organization and ultimately detrimental for you. Let's have a look at four beliefs then that busy people have that we need to help overcome to get you to the point on the other side where you're focusing on doing the right things. The first one is an overemphasis on multitasking. We can believe that we are great at doing two things at once. We can listen to a podcast or watch the football game whilst completing the board pack. And the reality is, is we're doing neither of those two things well. And ultimately what we're doing from a neuro neuroscientific point of view is putting all, is lots of extra strain on our brain. Doing two things at once adds great strain to our brain, not something we need, and it ends up meaning we're doing both of the two things we're trying to multitask poorly. Give your brain a rest, step back, do one thing at a time and do it well. Another belief, deadlines. The deadlines are great, right? The deadlines are what we need to get things done. We'll have the product launched by the end of the month. We'll have this done by that. I need that report from you, Bob, by Friday at the latest. Deadlines are a great way to motivate and get people done, but they are only one tool in your arsenal. They're not the be all and end all in getting things done. And often what deadlines can mean is that, yeah, sure, you get something done, but do you do it in the right way? Is the right thing being done? Is it being done in the right way? Because you're not having time to reflect on, is this the right element? Is this being done in the right way? Because you're just focusing on getting it done by a particular time. It could be a strong motivational tool, but it doesn't have to be the only one. You need to let go of deadlines as being your only weapon or your only way of getting things done in your organisation. There are other ways of doing it. It doesn't just have to be deadlines. The third thing to overcome is that you're probably not great at taking a break and having a rest. You're rushing from meeting to meeting, checking your phone on the way. You've barely got time to check your email in between the Zoom calls you've got all day. You look at your diary and it's stacked from nine to five with Zoom meetings, even across your lunch break. You're finding yourself eating your lunch whilst checking your email. Now, you know, instinct tells you this is a bad thing, but the reality is, is you're still doing it. You're not making time to rest. Let's take an example of where this is absolutely bad. Form. Your favourite football team. If they were working really hard on a Friday night, they were tra they're training really hard on a Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, and the big game was on Saturday. Are they going to be great performers at that big game on Saturday if they've been training the night before? If they've been up till midnight working and then they're expected to get up and play the best performance of their life the next day? Of course not, right? Physical, physical athletes need time to rest and to recuperate. Our brain is nothing more than a muscle. We need to spend the time resting and recuperating. You need to take breaks in between your meetings. You need time to stop and just relax your mind a bit and enjoy eating your lunch. Much will happen when you give your time the chance. Much will happen when you give your brain the chance to relax and to rest. It will recover. It will be stronger. Your thinking will be better. Your imagination will be better. Your creativity will be better. Your ability to get things done will be better if you give yourself time to rest. The fourth thing to overcome, and maybe this is going to be a surprise for you, and this is an over-reliance on productivity tools. Maybe you use a productivity tool like Asana or Monday.com or Basecamp or Teams or one of the many, many productivity tools that are out there. And over-reliance on these tools can actually be detrimental to the way that you get things done. They can be a little overwhelming when you've got everything into these tools. Now, don't get me wrong, they're a great tool for managing and understanding what people have to do. But an over-reliance and over-focus on productivity and productivity tools can be detrimental to you in the longer run. Giving your team and you some space to create something a bit different, have some time for some serendipity, can actually count in your favour and often is something that can't be done if you have an over-reliance on productivity tools. So have a think about that. Are you over-reliant on these tools? And the fifth one, and probably the place to start, is busy people ignore the value of reflection. They are too busy to spend the time reflecting on what has happened. They've already moved on to the next thing. They've closed down that last thing we've done, we're already on to the next thing. They don't spend the time to think about areas for improvement. They don't spend the time to think about what went well, what went wrong. They end up making the same mistakes again and again because there's no time to stop and to reflect. You need that time in your life. Okay? You need to stop to understand what you need to do differently next time, what worked and what didn't. And this is the place to start. If you're busy, the place to start 
is to create and to carve out some time in your schedule to reflect. An hour, 90 minutes, a chance to have some sort of clarity break to refocus yourself on what is important. What are the things you need to be focusing on this week, this month, this quarter? Refocusing your efforts and energies onto those priorities can really, really help you. It starts by slowing down. And that's got to come from the place of you wanting to slow down. By understanding that being busy is not your superpower. It's got you to where you are now, but it's not going to get you to that next place. The thing that's going to get you there is spending time reflecting on what it is you need to do. Focusing on the bigger picture. Investing your time wisely in the important people important strategies, important objectives and the things that you've got not being busy all of the time. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Are you too busy? Do you want to change that behaviour? Is it something that you wear as a badge of honour? Has this video made you angry, the fact that I'm telling you you shouldn't be busy? Have you been busy previously in your life? What's changed? I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments on this. And your progress as well. If you're somebody who wants to get better at not being busy, let me know how you got on. Drop me a line, drop me a message here on LinkedIn, drop me a comment. I'd love to know what being busy has done for you, isn't doing for you, and how you'd like to change in the future.